fishing, it's fine, but hooking is the only way. We're going to show you how to catch some fish today. Okay, guys, so we're, this is the first morning of dove season. It's September 1st, so we're sitting in a blind. We're up here at Flu House. As you see, we got the mojo, the ones with the wings flapping. We've got decoys all over the top of that fence. So hopefully some doves come around so I can shoot some. It's a beautiful morning out here. Nice and good. He's on the fence. Finally got one. Harry, <laughs> <laughs> go look at all these my guys. What are you talking about? What? That's three boxes of bullets you took. But basically what you have to do is you have to find their pattern, which way they're flying, you know, from bedding areas to food and water, and kind of get a general idea of which way they're going through, your, through the property. Then you're going to want to put up like decoys like we got up here. We got the mojo. They come in just like, a, like you're duck hunting or something. They just dive right in on them, you know, and they'll come and give you enough chance so you can get a decent shot. So we've got quite a few standing ones where they're just on the fence. And then as you see this one over here with the wings flopping, that attracts them. So they come in, dive bomb here, and they'll land. So we had a good little shoot. I'm shooting a 20 gauge. Um, usually you want to shoot a modified or improved cylinder, depending on how close they are. Today I shot at some of them only like 10 feet from me. And good thing I missed because I probably wouldn't have found them. But you know, it's a fun sport to do and they're very good eating. You know, I like to do them and I just fry them up, but they're excellent eating. Oh shit, I shot the camera. Oh shit, that's the niece. <laughs> Did you really shoot the camera? <laughs> <laughs> he shot your camera. You guys suck ass. <laughs> I don't think you did it. I hit it. You did? I smoked that camera. He does not want to be cameraman. He's like, I'll just, <laughs> I don't want to, right. I don't want to fix this That's problem. That's Freudian slip. Yeah. <laughs> Tom, I did it. how's your shot? How's your shot? How's, wait, wait, wait. What's, what's this new button on my GoPro? <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, that looks suspiciously like a pellet. Size 8 steel. <laughs> Testimony to the GoPro, you should send him a little comment. <laughs> yeah, say, hey, look what this thing can take. <laughs> Takes a whipping and keeps mm -hmm. on ticking. Oh, ain't worth a shit, but it <laughs> oh. take a punch. I got so mad I shot it. <laughs> <laughs> this is the the Lou family tripod that we've taken all the pictures in since I was a little baby. It has eight bullet holes in it. <laughs> That's pretty much a bullseye when it comes to shooting shotguns. See, you'll, you'll remember this forever. I'll remember when I take that out every Christmas to take the family pictures. Yeah. Like, oh. Tom was here. Dangerous. I got him. Right in the head. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to tell me something, Denise. <laughs> Look, I got my PB. <laughs> so the kind of doves we shoot around here are the morning doves, and there are some Eurasians. Um, so the limit on the morning doves is 15, and the Euro Asians, um, you can shoot as many as you want. There's no season, but the regular morning doves, they're federally uh, protected birds, so you know you you have to follow by the rules. But the Euro Asian, you can shoot as many as you want. When you guys are hunting these things, you got to have a license and you have to have a upland bird um, stamp. And also you can only shoot a half hour before sunrise and sunset. So there's a couple of doves. I want to show you the difference between the doves. 
So here we have your morning dove. And these are the ones that are fairly protected. These are the Euroasian. You can see they're like twice as big. And these birds here, these doves, there's no limit. And you can shoot them any time of the year you want and have at it. But there's a, quite a bit of difference in size and they're a light, lighter color. But these are the doves that, you know, in our area, it opens September 1st and they migrate south. So sometimes there's thousands of these things around and some days, you know, some years there's not as many. So usually on these doves, I like to either come out, you know, and go dark. So it's dark and then when you can just start seeing, it's probably legal to shoot. And it's the best in the morning till maybe around nine or 10. Then you might also go home and then come back out in the evening. The evenings are really good too like an hour before dark. And they like hot areas when it's really hot and you want to be around milo fields. Um, there's all kinds of little grains that they eat. And if you've got a, a rock gravel road around, they have to have gravel to digest their food. So a lot of times if there's a little gravel road going there, water or a grain field. Some of your best places to hunt. So usually, um, and when you're dove hunting, if the temperatures start dropping, so say we have like 100 degree weather, and then it starts cooling in the 80s, these birds are going to take off and they're going to head south. So, you know, they're, they like the warmer client. So some of the best areas in California to hunt doves is probably around Fresno in that area over there where it stays warmer more through the year. But they seem to like warmer climates. So if you're in the area or you have friends or anybody that live down south, you know, ask them about it because they're a pretty plentiful bird and a lot of fun to shoot. So guys, the guns I like shooting are either a 410 or a 20 gauge. Um, you know, you don't want something that, I mean, a lot of guys shoot 12, but I like the 20 and the 410, a lot more sporting. So I have an excuse. And then like these doves, they're very easy. I usually pluck them, so you just peel it like this and all the feathers come off. And you see, really easy to clean. And then you chop the wings off and the feet, and then I just half cut them in half and deep fry them. And you see the gullet right here? That's all grain. See all the grain in there? Is gullet is full grain but they're very very good eating a lot of guys will just cut the breasts out but i prefer to fry the whole thing they're really tasty so guys i hope you enjoyed this quick video about dove hunting you know if it's you want to get out there early season when with temperatures are hot and 100 degree weather but get out and go hunt and have a ball see you next week Fishing, it's fun, but hooking is the only way. We're gonna show you how to catch some fish today.